Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julie and I am here to do my reaction video for season one, episode two of, of Dawson's Creek. This time the title of the episode is Dance and I am very excited for this episode. I want to thank everyone that has supported the first episode. Uh, I, like the amount of likes and comments honestly surprised me. I didn't thought so many people were gonna like it but like that's amazing and i hope you guys continue enjoying my reactions and continue you know uh uh liking what i do here so yeah uh i'm excited to watch uh episode two episode one was really good the pilot episode was really good um you know very 90s feeling uh to it um and right now even though like you guys have no like you guys know I don't I'm not really a big fan of Joshua Jackson as the person but like his characters and the the, the um you know he's an amazing actor I think uh and even though I I started saying that like by the end of the first episode I was like I love Pacey he's like extremely cute I love him and I love a oh, Pacey and the, the the girl is Joey I think right I love her too. Um, so yeah, those are my two favorite characters at the moment, you know, for the first episode. Not so much Dawson, which is weird. But anyways, uh, here we are for episode two of season one. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Give a lot of thumbs up if you love Dawson's Creek. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and you can go to Patreon to watch the full uncut extended version for this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, Link, as always, will be in the description down below. And if for some reason, because I have I, I have tried to post the first episode on YouTube already, and they deny my, my dispute and all of that. Um, so if you see that this episode has like the entire screen blurred out, you can watch the normal version without the blur on my Patreon for free. So if you want to check it out, you know, link is in the description, uh, or maybe in the comments is the link to the post where you can watch it on blur without any problem. So in case you guys want to do that. Um, but yeah, for now, I think that's about it. I hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys like it. And without further ado, let's just begin with season one, episode two of Dawson's Creek. Here we go. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, what? Come <laughs> oh, on. come on. Close your eyes and think of someone else. I mean, she could. Can we think about him? Me the Crisco. What is he doing? This is wrong, though. This is wrong. Pacey, stop it. <laughs> the guy behind me is like, wait, what? What is happening with the teacher and Pacey? Ooh. So if there's anything I can do to you know, take the edge off. Uh, Introduce you around. How sweet of Take him. People flirted really bad <laughs> back in the 90s. <laughs> yeah, but what makes a good kiss? Please don't tell the me. Don't topic. tell me he's gonna practice with the head of Joey's doll. The, the doll head. Please, 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 please. <laughs> well, no. Give it a try. No. <laughs> no. This is so weird. Lips. But he's not kissing you, sweetheart. It's like she felt it. Oh. She did saw the mom, right? And she hasn't told. Mrs. Larry. Hmm? She hasn't told Dawson, right? I know. Shoot. Shit. She just dropped a bomb and Steven? went away. I, I can get it. This is this is all very gay right now. You have nice breasts. Okay, lesbian. I mean, don't get the wrong idea. I'm completely hetero. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just commenting sure. girl to girl. Joy, I plan to make it really hard for you not to like me. Okay, as besties, I think I like it because like there's no way they're going there on a '90s show. It's not happening. So I I, I don't I don't want to get my hopes on because it's, it will be for nothing. Let's be real. But the thing is that. Girl talk, you know, that's an amazing thing. I'm gonna not end up shipping them. I hate myself. Mm. But they seem mm. so happy. Why is she oh, cheating? Good night. Good night, Mrs. Larry. Oh, Jesus Christ, you're gonna give her a heart attack. <laughs> this is 
so bad, right? Pacey, stop it. <laughs> Forget I asked. Jen. You're in the girl. No, I'm enjoying my misery. He's so dramatic. He's just gonna sit there and look at her dancing with someone else. I'll make it easy for both of you. I'll go. This was this was, this was stupid, Dawson. Like he's like this she belongs to me. The single most horrific night of my life. I think our son is busy kissing the girl next door for the first time tonight. Oh, yeah, that romantic. didn't happen. <laughs> then why is she cheating? Maybe she's not cheating. But she was like kissy kissy. This cannot be happening. Why is she there? Not to mention punishable in a court of law. It, no, it that's what I was gonna kiss. say. No. Stop! Don't do this again. Want to be your boy adventure? Is he so dramatic? It's like he's writing fan fiction all the time. So I'm interested. Okay. Yeah. And you, you idiot. Oh, Joey! Don't do this to you, to yourself. I like her. I feel bad for her. Okay, guys, so that was the end of season one, episode two of Dawson's Creek. And it was a good episode. You know, we're kind of like moving a little bit, a tiny bit slow. But, you know, the pace of this shows, you know, I'm, I'm used to, you know, shows like, like Lucifer, even like, um... Even like Riverdale and you know the other shows that we watch nowadays to be a little bit more fast-paced um, but that doesn't mean that I'm not enjoying uh, uh, the pace of the show it's just that it's different it's something that you have to get used to I guess um, but I, I like how they explore the characters you know in a, in a more in-depth way which I love the most is uh, the explore th that I would like to see more of is exploring Pacey a bit more and Joy. <laughs> Basically what I said in the previous episode. Because we get a lot of Dawson and I get it because he's the lead of the show is Dawson's Creek, not Pacey's Creek, you know, so or Joey's Creek. You know, so I get it. I get it has to be about Dawson, but Man, that kid is just like weird. <laughs> Dawson, I mean, it's just weird as hell, and and it's he's just like so dramatic, and like he's so into films and 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 writing and having the process of the uh, of a of a of an artist and like pain. I should feel the pain. I should take something out of it, and I'm like. Dude, shut up. You're 15. You know what I mean? Just go for it and stop, uh, like, talking in riddles and things like that. And it reminds me a lot of Veronica Lodge from Riverdale. Because, and, or, or Cheryl. They, they talk that way. With using today's, um, more fast pace, um, and, like, talking like they're on Twitter or something like that, um, which they did not have back then in the 90s. Um, but it reminded me, like, it made me think that maybe, you know, the, the, the writers of, <laughs> of Riverdale take this as a, as, a, as a blueprint on kind of like how to be this dramatic and <laughs> annoying sometimes. Because Dawson was like so dramatic on this episode. Like, he likes this girl, he wants to hang out with her, and he wants to know where they are at, you know, and he could have asked that way before she goes to the to the dance, uh, even during the dance, just tell her and instead of being like a little bit passive aggressive about it, you know, and we hear by the end of the episode that Jen, you know, used to date a lot and, you know, going a little bit fast because apparently New York is so fast and like, you know. Um, but she is liking the, the pace that she's taking now, which is, you know, she's a little bit more calm. She doesn't need that fast pace type of relationships. And she is really looking for a friend 
who can like maybe become something else in the future but she's not like just focusing just on you know finding someone to have this really uh, you know have this love life or whatever you know she's just trying to live life as a teenager that she is she's 15 i am going to assume same as dawson and everyone else um so she's like there's no need to rush and i am enjoying the pace that i'm going at and i like dawson but i don't want to take that step you know i just want to enjoy his company and dawson is in the other side where he's like waiting for his romantic kiss and whatnot um so i hope that i hope that he does take it seriously what she said and takes it slowly you know because she wants to take this slowly and i think that she deserves to have that um but boy could he dial a little bit down the dramatic you know is it was like he was writing a really angsty fan fiction and I was like, and no disrespect to fanfic creators, because, man, I have read fan fiction that is a hundred times better than the actual show. Okay, I have read super corp fan fictions and like a bunch of fan fictions about a lot of uh, of the shows that I that I like, and sometimes they are even better than what I actually see on screen. Uh, because they see the potential and they see something else and it's like just incredible. So no disrespect to fanfic creators or anything like that. But like it seemed like Dawson was creating his own fanfic where it's very angsty and he has like 4,000 words and, and you are reading and by the end of it you don't get, you know, the payoff of like a kiss or something like that, you know. Um, so he needs to dial dial it down, the dramatic um, a bit, um, and I wish that we could see Joey in a different light. Right now, it's very much about her being in love with with uh, Dawson, Dawson being in love with Jen, and or into Jen more than he is in, into uh, Joey. Although he kind of kept like he gave this little like, oh well, I like Jen so much because she is kind of like you, so kind of like like. Letting her know that he's into someone else, but kind of leaving that little seed of like, but maybe I won't like you someday. You know, I don't know. It felt like that. Um, but I would love to see more of 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 Joey in a different light, where it, it's not just Joey, you know, liking this um, uh, Dawson, something else, you know. And and there is a lot of potential I feel for her and for her character, you know. So. Hopefully they do it. Hopefully we get to know a lot more about Joey. Just Joey and not Joey Dawson's friend, you know? I will absolutely love that. And also, Dawson is so pretentious <laughs> in the sense of like, he's like, oh, he's making a sport movie. So what? Art is supposed to be creative and, and you know, there is no right way. A wrong way, I guess. Well, Riverdale is a wrong way of how to write. <laughs> but even so, you know, you will find your audience. You will find it. And, like, art is supposed to be everything and nothing. And, like, you know. So to be pretentious and, like, oh, my God. He's doing, like, a sports thing where he is directing it. He's starring it. He's writing it. Yes, it is, you know, a little bit self-centered narcissistic to do that. Maybe. But at the end of the day, they're creating something and it's art and like you can't judge or be so pretentious of judging it in that way, right? But I don't know. Anyways, I would love to see a lot more of Jen as well. And then I love that comment <laughs> about like her. She was like, oh, you have really ni nice breast and like you, 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 you look your body like Jen, like totally like describing every single part of Joey. And I was like okay, lesbian, and then she was like, I mean, no homo, you know, she basically said that, <laughs> and I was like, okay, because I have had friends who are very much queer, who have told me at the beginning of our friendship uh, that they were completely straight, but they supported the gays, you know, they ended up being, you know, in the closet, not ready to come out, which is fine, you know, <laughs> so, but, this is a 90s show, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they are not going there. 
Um, so I'm gonna take it for what it is. Girls supporting each other, you know, and actually telling each other really good things about, you know, body positivity and things like that. That's really amazing, you know, because pretty sure they're not going for the gays, okay? So it's fine. I'm not gonna get too excited about it because it's not gonna happen. I know this. Um, then what's happening with Pacey? Oh my god, what's happening with Pacey? It's so wrong, especially because I thought he was like 16 or 17, which is still bad. Turns out he's 15. And the girl, the, the teacher, is probably 35 or 40. So it, this is wrong. It's so wrong. And look, Pacey can have the hots for the teacher. I totally get it, you know, because sometimes you see your teachers and like, you know, you have crushes on your teachers. That's kind of normal. And I guess that back then it was even more acceptable to do a type of storyline like this. I mean, they have done it up until like Pretty Little Liars. They still, you know, did the teacher uh, student relationship crap, which is bad. But anyways, um, but the thing is that she is the adult in this situation. He is the kid, and she is taking advantage of this situation. If she doesn't end up in jail by the end of the season, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do, honestly, because it shouldn't have in Riverdale. They also did that on Riverdale, but, like, we're talking about Riverdale, okay? So, but the thing is that, that it's wrong, I, I, and I don't like it, I don't support it, I don't find it cute or anything, I just find it creepy, you know, because... Like, I think that they they put Pacey and this teacher, because if they put a girl with an older, um, with an older man, it would be even worse, which is kind of what happened with Arya and, and, and Ezra, you know, uh, but it's just wrong and I don't like it and I think it's going to end up badly for for Pacey, and, like, he might be saying yes, and it, he's, come on, he's 15, he doesn't know better, you know, and she should, but she's not doing it, you know, she's a predator, taking advantage of this boy, and I do not like that at all, so, yeah, let's see how that continues, I'm not really excited about that, but hopefully, you know, it ends in a, in a good note, I guess, um, but yeah, anyways, Love the episode. It was good. It was a solid episode. Uh, the, the pace is completely different from what we are used to on shows nowadays. But completely fine. It's something that I can get used to it and, and, and you know, just go with it. The drama is, like, not too much yet, you know, but it's only two episodes, you know. So it's going to build up. Uh, also, Joy telling uh, uh, Dawson's mom that she knows. But the mom not really saying that's absolutely what is happening. But looking guilty as fuck when she was with her husband. Um, I don't know what that's going to turn out. Will Dawson feel betrayed by Joey because she didn't tell him uh, what's going to happen? We don't know, but that's another uh, fun, dramatic storyline uh, happening on the show. So yeah, I'm really excited for what is to come. I hope that you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell, and you can go to Patreon right now and watch the full uncut extended version for this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, link as always will be in the description down below. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys liked it. Continue supporting for more. And for now, that's about it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Dawson's Creek. That's it. Mwah. Bye, guys.